Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe and we're still learning how to talk about sports. So listen carefully in today's lesson. Let's start with some key words. Pay attention and say them with us. Okay, the first one is lose. Lose. Did your team win or lose? Our team lost. Tie. Tie. The teams didn't win or lose. They tied the game. Score. Score. The Yankees won. The score was six to four. Hot dog. Hot dog. Mom cooks hot dogs for dinner every Friday. Experience. Experience. Danny travels a lot. He has many interesting experiences. Shout. Shout. You don't have to shout. I can hear you. Well, friends, we want to hear you as you say these keywords with us again. The first one is lose. Lose. Tie. Tie. Score. Score. Hot dog. Hot dog. Experience. Experience. Shout! Shout. Okay, we don't have to shout these words, but let's go and ask Eddie what today's mission is. Hey, Eddie. Uh, hey, hey. Eddie. Eddie? Eddie? Eddie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was looking. To, where's the dog? There's, there's no hot dog here. It's not... It's not even hot here. Eddie, you're funny. Eddie, you are very funny. What? You'll find out in our lesson what a hot dog is. What a hot dog is. Yes, but for now, can you please give us the mission? <sighs> okay, I'll find you. Okay, here it is, the mission. What did Ben like best about the game? What did Ben like best about the game? Well, hey, everybody. Let's see if we can find the answer today in today's lesson. What a great game. It was an excellent game. I'd say it was the best game ever. So the Chicago Cubs won? No, they lost, but we had a good time. Max, I'm happy we tied the badminton game. I'm happy we bought another ticket so we could all go watch the Cubs. <laughs> And I'm happy that we all paid for the ticket. And I'm happy that we get to teach this conversation together. This is an exciting time. Max and Simon and Ben have just come back from an exciting game. We'll find out why. Now, what kind of game did they go and see, Andrea? Well, Gabe, they went to see a baseball game. They saw a baseball game. The Chicago Cubs. Did the Chicago Cubs win? No, they lost, and that's too bad. But we're happy because you can learn this word, the word lose. Lose. When two teams or people are playing together, whoever does not win loses. One team is the loser, L-O-S-E-R. They lose the game. They lose the game. So the past form of this word is lost. Simon says the Cubs lost the game. So of course, if you play a game you don't want to lose, you want to win. But if you do lose, should you be angry and pout? Or what should you do? Well, you should be a good loser. You don't want to be a loser that gets angry. 
Even when you lose, you can still have fun and learn from the experience. Yes, and these guys also had fun at this baseball game because Ben and Max tied their badminton game. Let's look at this word, tie. Tie. When the game has the same number of points for each team, then the game is tied. If the game is tied, that means no one wins and no one loses. What was the score? I don't remember. But the food was delicious. The hot dogs at Wrigley Field are the best. Really? How many did you eat? Seven. Wow. How did you have time to watch the game? Easy. I can eat and watch at the same time. And you know, hot dogs are part of the baseball experience. That's true. Food is part of any great experience. Oh, great. Now I'm hungry. Again. You know, I'm so glad these guys had such a great time at the game. They keep sharing more things with Renee. At the beginning of our conversation, we see a good question. It is, what was the score? Now, Gabe, what was the score of the game? The score of the game? Well, it doesn't say. And Max doesn't remember, but we can still learn this key word. The key word is score. Score. The score of a game is the number of points that each team gets. If you're watching a game, it's a good question to ask. Hey, what is the score? Or after a game, you can ask, what was the score? And if someone asks you, what is the score? Then tell them, well, the score is 20 to 25. 20 to 25 is a close game. The score is close. Well, Max doesn't remember the score, but he does remember the food. Our next key word is hot dog. Hot dog. A hot dog is something that you eat. It's a piece of meat inside a piece of bread. Hot dogs are good and they're popular to eat at baseball games. Yes, they are. And many people like to put different things on their hot dogs. And there are different things to put on your hot dog. What do you like to eat your hot dog with? Well, we learn in our conversation that hot dogs are part of the baseball experience. Our keyword is experience. Experience. Your experiences are the things that you have learned. Things that happen to you are your experiences. And life is full of experiences. We all have very different experiences in our lives. And I'm glad that we can enjoy the experience of learning a new language together. What did you like best about the game? Being with all the other fans. Yeah, that was fun. Everyone was cheering and yelling the whole game. Simon, you shouted so loud that my ears hurt. <laughs> yeah, you were crazy. Simon, what did you do? I was just cheering for my team. Come on, Simon, tell her what you did. Wow, Andrea, that was a really great conversation. That was just really fun. Fun to watch. Gabe, Gabe, <laughs> yeah, Gabe, yeah. Um, why are you shouting? I, I'm shouting? Yes, oh. you are shouting. Oh, I guess I am shouting. I'll be a little quieter while I teach this key word. Shout. Shout. Good. When you shout, you speak really loudly. You could say, yeah, go team, go, when you are shouting at a game. That's true. When people are cheering, they often shout. And when you shout, it is loud, especially when many other people around you are also shouting. But it's not polite to shout 
a lot of times. You want to be careful when you shout because if you shout too much, your voice might get really bad. That is true. But Gabe, I want to shout about something right now. Oh,、uh, go ahead. Okay, we found the answer to today's mission. Oh, good. Yes, we did. The mission is: What did Ben like best about the game? What did Ben like best about the game? What he liked best was being with all the other fans. Inspector E. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. E. This week, Simon called the small town radio station. Why did he do that? Let's listen to what Max said. They can win free tickets for the next game. They can win free tickets for the next game. Ah, Simon called the radio station so he can win free tickets for the next game. Usually, when we use the word "win," we're talking about winning a game. But we can also use "win" to talk about other things. Here, we're talking about winning a prize. Simon wins the tickets. The tickets were Simon's prize. We can also use "win" to talk about getting something because you are good at something. For example. Her musical talent won her a scholarship to study in Germany. Here, this means that she got a scholarship to study in Germany because she's good at music. Or you can win something because you have worked hard at something. For example, Harry practiced a lot and won a spot on the basketball team. This means that Harry got to be on the basketball team because he practiced a lot. Well, I hope you get a chance to win many things. For now, practice what you've learned. Remember, use it or lose it. This is Mr. E signing off. Conversation replay. What a great game! It was an excellent game. I'd say it was the best game ever. So the Chicago Cubs won. No, they lost. But we had a good time. Max, I'm happy we tied the badminton game. I'm happy we bought another ticket so we can all go watch the Cubs. <laughs> And I'm happy that we all paid for the ticket. What was the score? I don't remember. But the food was delicious. The hot dogs at Wrigley Field are the best. Really? How many did you eat? Seven. Wow! How did you have time to watch the game? Easy. I can eat and watch at the same time. And you know, hot dogs are part of the baseball experience. That's true. Food is part of any great experience. Oh, great! Now I'm hungry. Again. What did you like best about the game? Being with all the other fans. Yeah, that was fun. Everyone was cheering and yelling the whole game. Simon, you shouted so loud that my ears hurt. <laughs> yeah, you were crazy. Simon, what did you do? I was just cheering for my team. Come on, Simon, tell her what you did. Calendar phrase. Did you watch the game last night? Did I watch the game? Game? Of course, I watched the game. It was a great game. It was an exciting game. I watched the game too. Oh, hey, let's teach our calendar phrase. The phrase is: Did you watch the game? Did you watch the game? If there was an exciting game on TV or on the radio, you can ask somebody. Hey, did you watch the game? Hey, Gabe, did you watch our calendar phrase skit? Oh no, I didn't. Let's go do that. Well, let's watch it together right now. Did you watch the game? Did you watch the game? Hey, Marie. 
Did you watch the game? Which game? The baseball game last night. Did you watch the game? Oh, yeah. It was great. Did you watch the game? No. Can you tell me what happened? Sure. Did you watch the game? Did you watch the game? Hey, everybody. Now it's time for the question of the day. What is it today? Let's go ask Eddie. Hey. Hey, yes. uh. Eddie, you're yeah. singing a little song. Eddie, are, are you happy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Okay, why? Um, uh, just because, you know, now I know what a hot dog really is. And it tastes good, huh? Yeah. Good. It's not a real dog. <laughs> no, it's not. No, Eddie. it's not. Maybe we can have hot dogs for dinner today. Yes. Okay. But before that, uh, the question. Please. Ah, the question. The question. Here it is. Do you like hot dogs? Why or why not? Do you like hot dogs? Why or why not? No, I don't like hot dogs because I don't like to eat a lot of meat. Mm hmm. Good answer. Okay, friends, thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning English can, can be, be fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hot dogs. <laughs>